Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem F2-3 from RC Hibaler Engineering Statics 12 edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the magnitude of the resultant force and its direction measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. To solve this problem, we will use the parallelogram law of factor addition. For that, we have to draw the projection of these force vectors. So this is the projection of 600 newton force and this is the projection of 800 newton force let's label them so this is 800 newtons and this is 600 newtons the resultant will be drawn from the tail of these two vectors to their intersection of their heads let's call this fr the resultant force now we have to find some angles. Let's say that this angle right here is alpha. And alpha is 90 plus 30 degrees. So 120 degrees. And we know that for the parallelogram, the opposite angles are equal. So this angle is also alpha. Now, let's call these two angles as beta. For beta, we know that the sum of interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. So, we have 2 alpha plus 2 beta equals to 360 degrees. So, 2 into 120 degrees because alpha is 120 degrees plus 2 beta equals to 360 degrees so from here angle beta comes out to be 60 degrees to find the magnitude of the resultant force let us consider a triangle triangle a b and c so consider triangle a b and c and we will use the cosine rule. So we have fr is equals to square root of 600 square plus 800 square minus 2 into 600 into 800. into cos cos beta and beta is 60 degrees so from here the magnitude of the resultant force comes out to be 721.11 newtons so this is our first answer now we have to find the direction of the resultant force measured counterclockwise from the positive x axis so we have to find this angle actually. Let's call this theta. For angle theta, we can still consider the same triangle, triangle A, B and C. And we will use the sine law here. So we have sine 30 plus theta over the opposite side which is 800 newtons equals to let's say sine beta over the opposite side which is the resultant force fr so if we substitute the known values we would have sine 30 plus theta over 800 is equals to sine beta and beta is 60 degrees so sine 60 divided by the resultant force and the resultant force is 721.11 newtons so upon further simplification we have sine 30 plus theta equals to 0 0.961 and if you take the sine inverse of this value then we would have 30 
प्लस थीटा इक्वल्स टू सेवेंटी थ्री पॉइंट नाइन डिग्रीज एंड फ्रॉम हियर थीटा कम्स आउट टू बी सेवेंटी थ्री पॉइंट नाइन माइनस थर्टी डिग्रीज सो एंगल थीटा कम्स आउट टू बी फोर्टी थ्री पॉइंट नाइन डिग्रीज so this is our second answer so this is it for this problem i hope you would find this video helpful if you do please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates and if you have any questions or any doubts then feel free to ask in the comment section and i will try to answer them as soon as possible thank you